And we're seeing pictures of Stockton Rush, who, you know, was the CEO of this company and uh, was piloting this submersible with Hamish on board. Talk to me about the effect on deep sea exploration that this could have. My first thought was that it's going to chill exploration, and then I thought maybe it will actually make it better. What is your read? Oh, gosh, I hope not. You know, and I, I think the, the five uh, individuals that were on there would want us to continue. I mean, uh, I'm an explorer and uh, I'm, I'm sort of an amateur. I'm in the bush leads compared to my heroes that, that passed today. But, um, you know, don't stop. I mean, we, we, we can't stop. What they did today was motivation to keep going, in, in my opinion. And what about you? Um, as an explorer, I, I was curious about the effect that this will have on people like you. I mean, you're, you're extraordinarily active. You have your own submersible with its own support vessel. You do this all the time. Has this changed how you feel about the work you do? Well, my submersible is uh, amateur compared to theirs. I go down, I have a Triton 3300. We go down to 3,000 3, feet, 3,300 feet, and um, it's still deep. And uh, my heart goes out to these guys and their families. Um, I don't think that I'll, I don't think I'll climb in there the same way that I have before for, for number one. Um, and SOPs and contingency plans, I think are gonna change that, you know, this actually probably saved a lot of lives, to be honest with you, in the long run. But, but today's not the day to talk about that. I, this is a small community of, of people. Submersibles are a small community. I'm, I'm fellow members of the Explorers Club with two of the people there. And uh, this is hard today. You know, it's, I am fascinated when you say that, that it will save lives. I understand when you say it's not the day today, but it is a positive way to look at what could come of this, um, especially if they're able to recover um, most of the debris. Can I ask you, and I know you, you traveled to you know, 3,300 feet, and this is 13,500 feet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, do you think they're going to be able to recover the, the material um, on the ocean floor and reassemble it to see what went wrong, much like we investigate air, aircraft disasters? And on top of that, I'll ask, do you think that they'll be able to recover the bodies? Wow. Uh, yes, I hope to that they recover the equipment. I think we heard that it's most likely an implosion, but we don't know. I don't want to speculate to that, but it certainly looks like that. And no, there, there won't be much left of the bodies, I'm sorry. No. So that, yeah. will be, that will be difficult for um, in investigators. Carl, my, my thoughts are with you. My prayers go out to you in the deep submergence community. Um, and I hope you continue to do the important work that you do. What you, what you bring up from the deep has benefited so many people, the museums that you've created, the work that you continue to do with your wife. Um, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I am again so sorry for your loss. Yes, thank you. If I could just say one thing, yeah. the, the people that tried, uh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything like it in my life. And that don't feel bad that that if you you made it there, if that if that sub was intact, they survived and, and, and you made it. Um, so many people went on that mission to do this. And I congratulate every one of you. A lot of you hate each other now, but don't do that. And David Kincan and my man, wherever you are tonight, everything you did was incredible and your friends will be so proud of you. Keep your head up. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.